So what you'll need is six colors of yarn of your choice and a size three millimeter crochet hook and a pair of scissors. I'm gonna start by making a slip knot and then you're gonna make a chain that is long enough to fit around your bust. When you're at the end of your chain, you want to chain two and we're going to go along this whole chain and double crochet. Yarn around, yarn your needle through the stitch, then you catch a yarn on the other side. So you have three loops and then you wrap your yarn around the needle, pull through two and then pull through two again. Gonna end the row with a double crochet. Then you're gonna chain two, turn your work around and do another row of double crochet. So we're going to end our row with a double crochet um, and then we're going to and then I'm going to start with my next color. I'm using like a cream slash off white. So I'm going to start with a slip knot and I'm going to put my needle through the slip knot and then pull that through the stitch. Then I'm going to chain two, turn my work around, I'm going to do a double crochet in that stitch right there. In the first stitch. And I'm going to crochet over the string so um, you can't see them. Then I'm going to chain one, skip a stitch, and then go into that stitch there. Chain one. Oh, and we're going in double crochets. So skip that stitch into that stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch, So I'm coming to the 
end of the row i'm going to chain one going to that last stitch with a double crochet chain two turn and work around and i'm gonna go into that stitch with a double crochet chain one going to that stitch with a double crochet And I'm going to do 13 rows of this. And you can choose how many rows you want according to how long you want your top. But yeah, it's your choice. Once you have done 13 rows of, um, of this pattern, we're going to begin with the next part of the top. So I'm going to end with a double crochet here. Then I'm going to start with this pale lilac color, it's called. So I'm going to do a slip knot. And then pull it through the stitch. And tighten. I'm going to chain two. Turn my work around and do two rows of just double crochet in every stitch in this color. We go in every stitch. Notice that I am crocheting over the strings. I'm going to chain two, turn my work around, and I'm going to go for two more rows of purple. I did say I was going to do two rows of purple, but I'm going to actually do three.
So I've done three rows of the purple and then I'm going to do three or four rows of this like more colourful purple I'd say. I'm going to start with a slip knot. Chain two, and then I'm going to turn my work around. So I'm coming towards the end of this purple row. I've done three rows. So now I'm going to end that. So I'm going to start with making the sleeves and I'm going to start with, well, from the bottom of the sleeve. So I'm taking this color and I'm gonna make a slip knot. And then I'm gonna chain a chain that is long enough to fit around my arms. So I've got a chain of 57 and then I'm going to chain two and do double crochet and then skip one stitch. Well, chain one, then skip a stitch all along the, the chain. So I'm going to chain one, skip that stitch, go into that stitch. Chain one, miss that stitch, go into that stitch. I'm going to chain two, turn my work around and do the exact same thing. Go into that first stitch. Chain one. And go into that stitch with the double crochet. Chain one. And then 
going to do this for 23 rows of this pale color, pale purple, I don't know. So I'm finishing off the 23rd row in this purple color. And then I'm going to start with this white sash, off-white, neutral, natural color. I don't really know. So I'm going to start with a slip knot I'm gonna join the colors by pulling this little slip stitch I slip knot whatever through the stitch I'm gonna chain three turn my work around and then do double crochet in this stitch, chain one, double crochet there, yeah. and then I'm going to go for 26 rows in this color. And for this arm, I did 23 rows of the dark purple, and then I did nine rows of the blue, then four rows of this like light blue, and then another 13 rows of this blue. So yeah. Here's just the picture of the two sleeves side by side. Okay, so now we're gonna start with the shoulder bits okay so i'm quickly going to explain how um the color coordination thing works okay so for this arm you're going to use this color for the shoulder bit and then for this arm you're going to use this color for this shoulder bit here so i'm going to start with a slip knot chain three turn my work around and basically do what we've been doing the whole time So for the shoulder part on this sleeve, I did 14 rows. And then for the shoulder part on this sleeve, um, the orange color, which is at the bottom of the top, I did 21 rows. Um, here are some pictures of both the sleeves with the shoulder bits, just in case like you want to know how it should look. Now it's time to sew everything together. So I'm going to sew down this, like down the middle of here. And then I'm going to sew the two shoulder slash arm sleeve things all together. So I'm going to sew it down the middle. So I've sewn the shoulder bits together. And now I'm going to sew them along the back of the part that goes around your bust. But you can see that this is shorter than that, so than this color. So this is going to go past the middle and then this is just going to be like short of the middle. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you'll see. Okay, so you can see now that I have crocheted 
the shoulder bit to the back of the like bust part but I, I only go until the shoulder bit ends so I sewed it until the shoulder bit ends on both sides so now what I'm going to do is cr um, sew this over the shoulder bit over to the front part here so it meets like that and I'll do that on the same for the other side it will meet in the front okay so now I've sewn the shoulder bits over to the front and I've done that on the other side too now I'm going to sew the arms together okay so now I've sewn everything together both the arms and I've sewn it together here, but I've just put it on and I've realized that I want it like higher up, like I don't want it lying so down. So I'm going to sew or crochet like this much on each side down to the front, like to the front portion of the, the top. So like that much on either side. So I'll show you when I've done it. So I've just turned the top inside out and I'm just going to, oh well I made a slip knot and then I'm just going to like crochet the bits together even though that this is really crocheted together I'm just going to go over it and just crochet and like join it together. So that's one, two, three stitches. This is four. Four, five, six stitches. I think that's enough. Just gonna cut the string and then pull the yarn through the stitch and just tighten it. And I'm just gonna weave the yarn so it's not really visible anymore. And just do that on the other side as well. Um, I've just realized that I never showed you the back of the top, so here it is. And thanks for watching.